Details of another highly disturbing hostage situation have surfaced from a princess missing for years. Latifa is the daughter of Dubai's ruler. In a series of secretly recorded messages, she pleads for help. Tonight, the UN is promising action. CTV's Paul Workman has that story. Three years after vanishing behind the walls of a heavily guarded villa, Princess Latifa Al Maktoum has made a disturbing reappearance. I'm, I'm a hostage and uh, this villa has been converted into a jail. All the windows are barred shut. I can't open any window. Uh, there's five policemen outside and two policewomen inside the house. Bitterly unhappy daughter, colossally rich father, who was no stranger to the Queen of England's royal circle. In 2018, for the second time, Latifa tried to flee her father's fierce control and start a new life. He ruthlessly tracked her down using a team of Indian commandos and forcibly brought her home. We went up and they had all had their guns pointed at us and I um, uh, didn't know what to expect really. And uh, I kept saying, you know, like, um, you can't take me back. Her best friend Tina was with her and helped plan the escape. The commandos were basically uh, threatening to shoot me. Um, I was told to take my last breath even. Um, so that was definitely a moment for me when I saw my life flashing before my eyes. Latifa's friends managed to smuggle in a phone but haven't heard from her now in many months. Her father, Sheikh Mohammed Al Maktoum, has remained largely silent, insisting his daughter is safe and happy. We asked Latifa to, to send us as much evidence as possible because we were thinking that maybe one day we might be needing it. Now that we've lost, lost contact and we fear that you know, the, the, the phone was discovered and you know, we don't know what the consequences are going to be. Mary Robinson, a former UN Human Rights Commissioner, met Latifa in 2018 and described her as lovingly cared for. She says now she was horribly tricked. Latifa supporters say they released the videos largely out of desperation, hoping that pressure from world leaders from the UN will lead to her freedom. Paul Workman, CTV News, London.